Hello, it's Michael Bayes, licensed acupuncturist once again here in Shrewsbury, New Jersey, and today we'll be talking about the history and philosophy of acupuncture. Acupuncture dates back roughly to the Stone Age, where primitive tools were used as a form of micro-injury to stimulate the body's ability to heal itself. Now you may ask yourself, how do I know those aren't arrowheads and porcupine quills? Well, uh, in 1998, a mummy was exhumed out of the Alps. His name is Utzi. Uh, his body dates back 5,300 years ago, which roughly places, places it around the Copper Age. Uh, upon this mummy, they found some markings, which they thought were tattoo, but were not decorative in any shape or form. Uh, once analyzed, they laid on areas around injury, and they correlated these tattoos to what are considered to be now the same acupuncture points that we still use today. Ironically, the mummy was killed with the most primitive form of acupuncture. He was shot in the back with an arrow. Uh, acupuncture had been practiced for a while, but it wasn't compiled as uh, text until 221 before the Common Era, which places it uh, before the New Testament. Uh, within this nut book called the Huang Di Nei Jing, we see uh, many profound concepts in medicine. The first one being that uh, disease was an external uh, component and not an affliction by the gods or a curse. The second being that man is uh, a subject to the laws of the universe and that he is a macrocosm within a microcosm and that he's not separate uh, from uh, the world itself and its environment. And finally, living a life according to the natural order could sustain a life of health, which basically means that if you follow basic principles of the seasons that you may acquire bacterial infections in the winter, uh, viral infections in the summer, um, um, in the spring and fall, there's allergic reactions. You can prepare for those ahead of time. Let's fast forward a few hundred years to uh, the modern era. In the 19th and 18th century, acupuncture starts to get uh, suppressed and herbal medicine takes over. In the dawn of the 19th century, uh, acupuncture is replaced with uh, modern Western medicine. And around the beginning of the 1900s, China's hell-bent on modernizing. They want antibiotics, they want stethoscopes, they want uh, modern Western medicine, but they don't necessarily have the resources. So around the time of the Communist Revolution, Uncle Mao engages in a battle and uh, is forced to retreat. And the way he treats his troops is with the use of acupuncture. Uh, and it becomes China's national treasure. Uh, also, when Uncle Mao takes power, there's a viral outbreak in China. They don't have the resources to handle it properly. So they use herbal medicine to treat uh, these viral infections. And then, um, basically, the becomes standardized as a curriculum combined with Western medicine. and it Uh, a little bit of uh, jargon and terminology in Chinese medicine is uh, important that uh, Chinese language uses pictographs and a picture paints a thousand words and they paint with a broad brush. So the character for energy can mean a lot of things like vitality, gas, breath. In a sense you're taking the energy from the atmosphere and using it to sustain yourself. But this energy can be applied to multiple terms like the energy we get from digestion, the energy we get from a light bulb, it's all energy uh, and it's used to sell. The philosophy of yin and yang is the terminology of polar opposites and how they relate to each other. Uh, if we have left and right, we want to meet somewhere in the middle. And that's our optimally how we apply it to health. So if I have inflammation, which is a yang property, I want to use anti-inflammatories, which are a yin property. If I have a yin condition of uh, fatigue, I want to use yang type 
herbs for uh, tonic and tonifying the body. Thanks again for watching. My name is Michael Bays. I'm a licensed acupuncturist in Shrewsbury, New Jersey. You can reach me at any time at 732-898-2284. Uh, you can find out more on the website, AccuHealthNJ.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at AccuHealthNJ and follow the information below.